Nelson Aguilar signs a two-year, $26 million deal with the New England Patriots. So the Patriots here today, they targeted a lot of receivers. And John Smith, they signed as well. So Aguilar, he gets a big bag for a guy, let's be honest, who was almost out of the league if he couldn't get things going with Oakland last season, where I think he signed for the minimum. So turning that one good season into a good contract here for Nelson Aguilar, good for him here in this situation. And now he's going in New England. He'll probably be the second or third receiver in this receiving corps, depending what's going on with Julian Edelman and Nikhil Harry over there, who might get traded with the rumors we saw of late. So Aguilar, he was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles a few seasons ago, and he just couldn't get things going over there in Philly. And last year, he went to the Raiders, like I mentioned. But in 2019, with Philly, 69 targets, only 39 catches, 363 yards, and three receiving touchdowns with a two-point conversion and a fumble loss. But last season here for the Vegas Raiders, what a year it was, 48 catches, 896 receiving yards, and eight touchdowns in a nice 82-target season. So he could get the job done, is Aguilar. We saw him last year be a nice deep ball threat for Derek Carr and this Raider team. And now with Cam Newton and the Patriots, I think he'll be in a similar role. But it wouldn't surprise me if the numbers do go down and it was a one-year wonder year last season for Aguilar. But the Pats, like I said, they desperately needed some receivers and tight ends. And they did that today in the first day of free agency by addressing it. And it's a decent signing for the Pats, but they way overpaid Aguilar, in my opinion. So the projections... We'll see what he could do this season. I think he's a player that'll probably get six or 700 yards if he stays healthy, four or five touchdowns. And as far as fantasy football goes, only in 14 team leagues or deeper, you're probably going to target him on draft night because we still got the draft. We still got more free agency to come up here. And Aguilar last season, he wasn't drafted in many fantasy leagues, even though towards the end of the season, he was a hot pickup on the waiver wire but right now he's a guy in probably deeper leagues you're going to target in the later rounds but he gets his money which is always a good thing to see the players get their money and we'll see what his role will be here with the New England Patriots in the upcoming 2021 season and if he will have fantasy football value once again next year.